But we begin tonight with breaking news in the primary election in Massachusetts. Good evening, I'm Shannon Heggie. And I'm Mike Montecalvo. The results are coming in. The big race tonight, the Democratic primary for U.S. Senator. We broke it on 12 News at 10, live on the air. The first reporter in the country, our political reporter Ted Nisi, breaking that Congressman Joe Kennedy had conceded to incumbent Senator Ed Markey. Kennedy already spoke. We aired that live at 10 as well. Markey is expected to speak in just a few minutes. The other big race, the race to replace Joe Kennedy in House District 4, a crowded field here with the front runners Jake Auchincloss and Jesse Mermel in a tight race. The rest of the field trailing far behind the leaders at this point. So a couple of hotly contested races we've been tracking. 12 News is your local election headquarters. We have team coverage for you tonight. Kim Kalunian is standing by at Joe Kennedy's election night headquarters. And Sheila Loshito's in Fall River with a look at voter turnout. But first, let's send it out to Steph Machado, who's live at Ed Markey's headquarters in Malden. Steph? Well, Ed Markey arrived here on his campaign bus with his wife just about five minutes ago. We just got the three minute heads up for his victory speech to begin here outside the Malden Public Library in his hometown. You know, this was sort of an incredible race from the beginning. Joe Kennedy the third was thought to be the front runner when he decided to challenge Ed Markey for his seat in the Senate in the Democratic primary. But Markey was able to sort of rebrand and reintroduce himself to the voters. He really touted a, a endorsement from Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, who he co-sponsored and co-authored the Green New Deal with. We've heard from voters that that was part of their decision uh, to vote for him in the election today. And remember, the Democratic voters have now decided to send a 74-year-old senator to the November election against the Republican nominee he, for a six year term. He will be 80 years old um, at the end of his term if he wins in November. And that was against a 39 year old congressman who was also a Kennedy. Um, when I spoke to Senator Markey's campaign manager earlier today, we talked about how, you know, like Congressman Ocasio, uh, Congresswoman Ocasio Cortez, there have been a number of Democratic, young Democratic candidates who have ousted incumbents. That is not what happened in this race. And he said that's because. This was about the policies, not necessarily the generation or the age. And it, we've and let's go live now to 12 News reporter Kim Kalunian, who's live in Watertown. She's been covering Joe Kennedy today. Kim? Yeah, Mike and Shannon, it obviously goes without saying that this was not the outcome that Team Kennedy was hoping for tonight. And for political observers, this is just an unprecedented situation. A Kennedy has never lost a congressional race here in the state of Massachusetts ever. And now we just heard Senator Ed Markey's speech, part of it. He was very focused on the issues and policy, but the congressman kept his concession speech here brief tonight, less than 10 minutes, saying his was a campaign for the working class. He thanked his opponent and congratulated him and also thanked his supporters. But the 39-year-old also hinted multiple times that his political career is far from over. Take a listen. I called Senator Markey to congratulate him and to pledge my support to him and his campaign in the months ahead. The senator is a good man. You have never heard me say otherwise. It was difficult at times between us. Good elections often get heated. But I'm grateful for the debates, for his commitment to our Commonwealth, and for the energy and enthusiasm that he brought to this race. And no matter the results tonight, I would do this again with all of you in a heartbeat. And the Congressman also saying that his campaign and his coalition will endure. And as he concluded his speech, he thanked his family and also offered some advice to his two young kids. He said, always stay in the ring because it's always worth the fight. Again, Congressman Kennedy conceding tonight to incumbent Senator Ed Markey, but hinting that at some point he will be back. Live in Watertown tonight, I'm Kim Kalunian, 12 News. Live in studio, we'll get to Ed Markey in just a second, but 
on Fox Providence. You broke that uh, Joe Kennedy was uh, defeated. You know this candidate extremely well. You've covered him from eight years. Yeah, I mean, it's it's really something. I mean, this was this was always a risk, to be clear. In some ways, I'm, I'm not totally shocked. I remember hearing the rumors bubbling up last year that Joe Kennedy might do this and thinking, wow, give up a safe seat to take on an incumbent who might not be uh, setting the world on fire, but also he has no scandal or anything to run against him with. Remember, Joe Kennedy was being talked about as a potential presidential candidate. He was always seen as someone with a bright future, but he and his advisors made the calculation that this was his best shot to advance, and they totally underestimated uh, just how powerful that alliance with Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and being on the Green New Deal would be for Ed Markey. Let's talk about the seat that now has to be filled, because this one is still close between Auchincloss and Mermel, and it's very regional. It's fascinating, Shannon. I've been, I've been watching these results come in all night, and Jesse Mermel, this is of course the 4th Congressional District, Northern Fall River, through the Attleboro's and Taunton, up to Newton and Brookline. You see the results right now. Now very close between Jesse Mermel from Brookline Select Board member and Jake Auchincloss with Becky Grossman a bit behind. The thing is, Jesse Mermel, that lead is built on a huge advantage she's built up up at noon in Brookline. But as the, the communities in our part of uh, the 4th District report, Taunton, Attleboro, uh, Fall River, and the surrounding towns, we're seeing Jake Auchincloss chip into that. He won Taunton. She came in sixth place in Taunton, Jesse Mermel. So very scrambled. You can just see how voters struggled with seven candidates. Two of the ones that dropped out are getting a bunch of votes because there was mail-in balloting and they hadn't dropped out yet when the ballot started. So frankly, a very messy result. And I think it's going to be uh, a number of hours before we feel we know who won this. And about the mail ballots, 850,000 mail ballots. We've yeah. never seen anything like this before. No, we haven't. And I think, the, you know, I've been on the phone with election officials tonight. I should say they they seem to be handling it quite well across Bristol County uh, in our part of Massachusetts. But uh, it's, it's a big undertaking. It's different. And uh, again, this fourth district race, this is what happens when you have a ton of candidates, many well-funded, and voters are left saying to themselves, I can't even quite tell the difference between them. And they, and they just scramble everywhere. And the winner right now might not get 25% of the vote and win this. But this is the knowledge of politics editor Ted Nisi. And again, at 10.09, live on the air, the first reporter in the country to call the race uh, from a text. This is Well, you know, I'll say this is why uh, we, we're, we're glad to have our new set and have you guys watching us on 12 <laughs> News, because this is the investment we make in journalism, right? That's, you know, I know a lot of the people on the Kennedy campaign because I've covered Joe Kennedy for eight and a half years. I was walking out of Warren's in Attleboro with him when he kicked off in 2012. So... Uh, it's always nice to get a scoop as a reporter, and that's, right. uh, that's why we try to know the people we cover. Thank All you right. very much, Ted. Ted. Thank you.